wind. And they were hanging on the rope, and the wind wheel really stops. So there goes my story. Since then I hate kids, you get it? No, I don't. <laughs> well, when the log is in, we bring it, you can imagine that when it's connected to this rope, the log, on the end, the log is sliding in, sliding in, sliding in, and on the end, we lift it up. And we leave it there for a moment. Then we needed the rope, the middle winch, is connected to a wheel on the end of the, sh uh, the shed. The rope is coming back and will be connected to the steel eye. Because you can imagine when we finish this one, the top of the wagon is over yes, there. Yes, but I want to have it there. So the log is in this position. We bring back the whole wagon or wind power connected to this winch. We leave down the log and we connect it with steel bars, as you can see it over here. So it won't roll. When we bring it in, it's connected, we just start sawing. And start sawing is nothing more, you can see it over there. I make a connection. When this one's going up, it's gripping in the wheel, and I am going forward now. That's exactly what we can do with the one over here. It's going forward, through the saw blades, we're opening the doors on the end of the shed, take out the wood, dry it, and sell it. And that's what we're doing. What we, what we can do, when we finish this one, we're gonna bring back the other one in here, so we bring back the whole wagon, and we are sawing the two planks. Dirk is standing on two planks over there, you can see them on the floor. And we're gonna cut them for the second time to make it nice square pieces. So we can saw everything people, people, sorry, people ask us over here. Because we can change the wooden blocks in between the saw blades from thumb stick up to 65 centimeter, we can saw everything people order us. Well, I can talk the whole day, I'm not going to do it because you want to walk around and you want to see something. I want to tell you one short story about a particular this windmill. <coughs> 300 years ago, this was in the center of Sandam. At that time, they built more than 1100 windmills, 630 windmills at the same time, only in this area. Everywhere you look, you saw wings, you saw mills, you saw more mills than you saw houses. It's unbelievable. Well. The whole river San was covered with logs, because 200 of them were wood saw mills. Amsterdam needed all the wood for building their ships and conquering the world, but they didn't want to have this industry. And that's the reason they built it over here. They needed the oil, they needed the pigment, they needed the wood. But all the industry, this was the first industrial area in the world, the San Dam. Well, 200 years ago, there were about 400 of these windmills left. And 100 years ago, 44 of them were left. Steam and the electricity came, they all lost their functions. And they were in terrible conditions. So they all wanted to cut them down. But this one was a survivor. In 1942, during the Second World War, it was in the center of Sandam. And they want to extend the central station over there. And before they took this one down, they're making very detailed drawings. And three of them, you can see them on the wall. And by having these drawings, it was quite simple to rebuild this whole windmill exactly 10 years ago. It's a completely new one, completely detailed from the old one. And that's good for us. For two reasons. We've got it, that's the first reason. Second reason is, it's not a monument anymore. And that's good for us because we're the only windmill who can saw big beams. We can saw big masts for ships. We can saw wood for another wood saw mill in the eastern part of Holland. And we can do it over here because it's not a monument. So we can really work hard with it. And that's what we like to do, of course. Well, when you walk through the door over there, you can enter the other house. There's an eight minute movie of the whole reconstruction of this windmill. Down the basement, there's not only a nice exhibition about the amount of windmills, there's also my colleague Pete. I don't see him over here. I think he's downstairs already. And he can tell you a lot uh, about windmills, whatever. I want to thank you for listening. I want to thank you for your patience.